Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick video this morning before I take off. What you're seeing on your screen is a transfer initiated via our clone between the Mac Mini and the B-Link EQ12, the N100 Mini PC, running over a 2.5 gigabit switch. And as you can see down here at the bottom, it actually just finished, apparently. <laughs> Coming back to the terminal, I transferred the movies folder over to the B-Link test share and transferred 248.298 gigabytes at 231 megabytes per second. And that took 15 minutes and 18 seconds. 18.2 seconds to be exact. So I've transferred movies, pictures, and documents over. So just for grins, let's go over here to Commander One for just a moment. As you can see here, I've got the entirety of my pictures transferred, but let's go one step further. Over here on my T7 external SSD, I have a few folders that I wouldn't mind having transferred over there. So we're going to make a new folder. We're going to label this 2023 YouTube. And now we've got that folder. And we jump back to the terminal. So if we do LS volumes T7. 2023 YouTube, we can see that that's where I've dumped all my render files, my MP4s that come out of ScreenFlow. So we are going to take this, we're just going to copy that, and we are going to dump that right here. And then we're going to go to the end of the line. And what do we call it? 2023 underscore YT. And we're going to start our transfer. And as you can see, we're definitely getting speeds on the 2.5 gig switch that we should be getting. So again, this is coming from the Mac Mini that has a 10 gig network card in it. I, I spent the extra $100 on it when I bought it. 10 gig network card in the Mac Mini, 2.5 in the B-Link and we are taking advantage of that speed. Uh, this is going to Open Media Vault, so let's switch over and see what it, we're doing as far as memory and CPU usage. So here, as you can see, we've got the Open Media Vault dashboard. 36.9% looked like the peak on CPU utilization. Memory, we're using 4%, 674 megabytes. The file system on the Open Media Vault is 34% full, and it is just humming along, sipping the juice, and doing its thing. Again, I just wanted to make this video to show that these low power B Link devices do have a legitimate use. That use just may not be running. Windows. And it's a shame that B-Link doesn't put out different configuration options pre-configured because that would be very easy for them to do. And at the scale they sell at, it could be a lucrative proposition. Check this out. 34.616 gigabytes, two minutes, and 9.2 seconds. I have to say that all I've done with this is set up an unmanaged 2.5 gig switch and hook a couple of machines to it. This is impressive. This is impressive. And in all honesty, I don't be, think I'll be buying any more gigabit switches at this point. 2.5 or bust, people. We're going into the final quarter of 2023. Let's all get on that bandwagon and push things forward instead of living in the past. All right, well, 
that's going to wrap up this video for today. I, I really just wanted to show that this is doing what it's supposed to do. The B-Link, I think, has found a great use with Open Media Vault on it. If nothing else, then to just act as a secondary backup, because my primary backup goes to Synology, but act as a secondary backup for important documents and other files that I really want to have. At some point, I may take this and stick it at my buddy's place in Northern Illinois and run it over, run the backups over zero tier just to have a remote backup that doesn't rely on a cloud service. So, on that note, thank you once again for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.